welcome to third grade, chapter five, lesson five. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. Now, instead of doing the 10 block, we are actually going to show you uh, a little bit easier way to do this. So, three times six is 18, and then we're going to tack that zero one. Okay? Makes it a lot easier. Okay? Five times six is 30. Do not let that fool you. You still have to tack that extra zero on. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing right here. Here you go. 8 times 3 is 24, and we're going to tack that zero on. 2 times 5 is 10, and we still have to tack that zero on. Okay? You guys go ahead and try that through number 11. You totally can. Okay, each model car set costs $4. There are 30 different model cars. Well, 30 times four, okay? So four times three is 12, and then tack that zero one. $120, okay? Amanda exercises for 50 minutes each day. How many minutes will she exercise in seven days? Well, seven times five is 35, and then we have to Tack that zero one, and it's being measured in minutes. Okay, not so bad, guys. All right, we're gonna go over into the back when you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna finish up with the spiral review. Okay, so Sue bought seven cans of tennis balls. There are three balls in each can. How many balls did she buy? Well, seven times three, well, it's 21 balls. Okay. Use the commutative property of multiplication to write a related multiplication sentence. Well, if all we're doing is moving the numbers around, which is what commuting is, then I'm going to put 4 times 3 equals 12. Lynn drew this bar model to solve a problem. What operation should be used to find the unknown number? Well, 90 flowers and 54 flowers. Well, I would just add those together to find out how many in all. So addition. Okay. Joe drew this bar model to find an unknown number of balls. Find the unknown number. Okay. So there's 250 altogether and there's 106 here. So let's find out. How many go here? Okay, so we're going to go 250, and I'm going to take away the 106. That should give me how many go in the other box. So zero can't take away six, and we do not ever, ever, ever subtract up. So I'm going to go next door, and I'm going to make that a four, which makes this a ten. Ten minus six is four. Four minus zero is four, and two minus one is one. So 144 balls. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter five. Come on back for chapter six. See you soon.